Welcome back to the BS Bourbon channel. Uh, today we're going to do a little Frey Ranch. Now this was sent to me by, by uh, Morgan Johnson, who is a, just the coolest guy ever. Just sending out samples of craft whiskey to me, and uh, it's awesome. He's the best. I'm going to be sending him a little care package of my own. Now this is a single barrel bourbon. It's the K&L Wine Store Store Pick, 134.10 proof. Kind of excited about the proof point. Anything over 130 seems to be kind of in my wheelhouse. I, I just like Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel strengths. I don't buy them if they're 129 proof. I saw some yesterday. I was in a liquor store. 129 point something, and I was like, pass. Once they're 130 plus, buy. That's just how I do it. It's how I do it. Do what you want. Do what you will. So, as I've said in a previous video, this whole grain to glass craft whiskey thing, it's what I'm into right now. It's, it's what I want to explore. And Frey Ranch does it just about better than anybody. I've had a few of their offerings. I haven't had this one yet, so I'm excited. So let's see what this pick has for us. Interesting. Caramel. This, okay. Pin hook and um, who else other than pin hook? There's a plasticky note that I get on pin hook and another that I can't. Uh, new riff, new riff, new riff and pin hook have this plasticky note that I sometimes get on some. Uh, you know, higher end bourbons like some four squares and whatnots. I get that on this, and what it reminds me of is <laughs> when, when I was a kid, we uh, we had an above ground pool in our backyard. It was like I don't know, twenty four feet across, whatever, the, whatever. And when you first are putting in the pool, and you unroll that liner that plastic pool liner and you're stretching it out and you're trying to get it in place and you get it everything you're smelling that mf -er, okay pin hook new riff and this remind me of that smell that plasticky chemical smell for lack of a better word now this also has caramel, butterscotch, vanilla, but that plasticky note is kind of riding herd on top. Oh, uh, there's a little cinnamon, a little, there's like a little bit of like a Christmas something in the very end of the, like when you're smelling it, like when you're, when you like stop smelling it for a split second, you get like, like a Yule log or like a fruit cake like it's a weird combination of smells yeah it's right like right when you pull it away like plasticky vanilla cherry and then that weird fruity effervescent yule log thing when you pull it away that's so weird let's taste it Palette reminds me of some decanter whiskeys that I've had. That's really weird. You know that that like um, that like flavor from the ceramic or whatever. I don't know what the flavor is actually from, but that like vintagey feel. It's interesting. I on the nose, I get the I get the vintagey thing a little on the nose now. Before tasting it, I was getting more of that plasticky thing, and now I'm getting some of that 
that vintage decanter whiskey smell on the nose as well. Kind of like I did with Finger Lakes, with those single barrels from Two Souls of Finger Lakes whiskey. Wow, that is, oh. Now I'm getting medicinal cherry. What the hell? Yeah. What the hell? The nose is now changed and is less plasticky. I'm not picking that up as much. And now I'm getting medicinal cherry. Wow. That's wild. That's tripping me out right now. That's, that's really cool. That's weird. That's an experience whiskey. I, I, it's won me over. In the beginning, I was not 100% on board with this one. I don't love that plasticky note. But once it transitioned to more of that vintage decanter-esque flavor, and then now into this medicinal cherry note, You got me. Wow. That's really cool. That is really cool. I love it when a whiskey can change up. When a whiskey starts out one way, and as you're drinking it, it's evolving. So it's it's you've got the same whiskey in your glass, but it's like you've, you're having two or like in this case, like three different whiskeys. Because in the very beginning, it started out with that really plasticky note that I, I don't love, per se. Some people might, but anyway. Then it transitioned, and it was something different, and then it transitioned again. I like that. I love a whiskey that can switch it up on you. They can turn into a switch hitter, throw lefty, throw righty, change on you. And so you're constantly like, oh, wait, what's going to happen next? I want to keep drinking it because what if it changes again? What if in 15 minutes it's different? That's that's whiskey I want to drink where I, I don't know what's going to happen next. When I smell it the next time, is it going to be different? When I taste it this next time, is it going to be different? That ropes me in and even if I'm not 100% in love with the flavors that I'm getting. The fact that it's changing and evolving as I'm drinking it keeps me coming back for more. Because I'm like, okay, what's going to happen next? What's the next thing going to be? That's so cool. This is a cool one. Frey Ranch, single barrel, K&L, wine store, pick 134 proof. So that, you know, Frey Ranch can put out stuff like this. That's amazing. Until next time. Oh, kind of went cinnamon all of a sudden. What the fuck, bro? This thing is changing again. Medicinal cherry is gone. And now it's cinnamon. Like cinnamon sticks. What the hell? I should let this sit longer. I should have let this sit way longer before I started drinking it, but I had no idea. I had no idea that this was going to be a change up, a switch hitter. What the fuck? This is the fourth change up. This is the fourth iteration of this single whiskey. Now it's, now it's all just cinnamon and vanilla forward. Wow. This is one you, you want to pour a nice big glass and sit with as it goes through its change-ups. That's freaking wild. Well, kudos to Frey. Thank you, Morgan, for sending me this.
until next time, I hope you guys have a freaking great day.